in Matthew chapter 10, verse 36, a man's foes, enemies, shall be those of his own household. And I'm here to report to you today, brothers and sisters in the Lord, that this is a valid, true statement. If you're a born-again Christian that's been called out of darkness into God's marvelous light, a mark has been set upon you, if you will. A mark upon your forehead. A mark of distinction. It's not visible to the human eye, but it's known by God. Because you are one who sighs, you are one who cries over the abominations that are done in the midst of your environment. You are not satisfied with what is going on. In the midst of lies, hypocrisy, and evil, and filthy, immoral lifestyles, you have a mark upon your forehead that was placed upon you by God that sets you apart. And you're being consecrated. And you don't look at what's going on in your environment as everything is okay. You see the evil and the abominations that are going forth. You hear the lies and you see the fraud that's being accepted by the masses. And you see between all that and you know the truth. Many people in your family, mothers, brothers, Sisters, uncles, aunts, cousins, grandparents are your foes, are your enemies. They are against you. Oh sure, they may parade around as so-called Christians, but all they have is a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. They honor with their lips, but their hearts are far from God. They're mouth professors. Revelation 3.16 tells us about that. If you're truly called of God, you're a black sheep. You're discarded. You're rejected. You're, you're disowned practically from your family. If you're truly a called child of God, you don't fit in with the world, a man's foes shall be those of his own household. They may think they're living a life of Christianity right now while they enjoy their mingling with the world one foot in and one foot out. But little did they know, on that day, they're going to hear the resounding words of Jesus Christ when he states unto them, I never knew you. Who are you? Depart from me, you that work iniquity. Those are the last words they're going to hear from Jesus Christ before they're banished and thrown into the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. Those are the last words they're going to hear from our Lord and Savior. I never knew you. Who are you? Depart from me, you that work iniquity. But we, those who have the seal, the mark of God upon our foreheads, we're going to hear well done, thou good and faithful servant. Come and enter into the joy of the Lord. Notice in Psalm 68, 6 as we close, a very sobering scripture. God setteth the solitary in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. And I have seen this with mine own eyes. The rebellious dwell in a dry land. Those who go against the word of God, who continue in the state of lukewarmness, who have one foot in and one foot out, they, they dwell in a dry land, hooked on medication, hooked on drugs, in and out of relationships, divorce, many divorces, in sin, going out of their mind, becoming psychotic,
persecutors of God's children, the rebellious, dwell in a dry land. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains. He bringeth out those that are bound with chains. That's God. He's a deliverer. He sets the captives free. Not only did he, does he set the solitary in families and creates the black sheep. Notice, he creates the black sheep. Right here it says, he setteth. Who? God. You didn't make that determination that you were going to be a black sheep in your family. That you're going to be the oddball. That you're going to be the one who sticks out like a sore thumb. That you're going to be the one who uh, has been discarded and rejected and scorned and looked down upon and forgotten. You didn't, you didn't make that happen. God setteth the solitary in families for his purpose. And there are other scriptures that'll, that'll correspond with this one here in the word of God. That God handpicks, he chooses the ones that will have the mark upon their foreheads. They're the ones who are swimming upstream. They don't go with the flow. And they're persecuted because of it, but they continue to persevere because they have faith in God. And they fear God and they love the Lord. God said it the solitary in families, but the rebellious will dwell in a dry land. Yeah, it's going to be very dry for them. The Bible says, and the rich man lifted up his eyes from hell. And what did he cry out for? He cried out for a drop of water that could be placed on the tip of his tongue because he was being tormented in the flames. The rebellious dwell in a dry land. So which side are you on today, brothers and sisters, and friends? Do you have the seal of God, the mark of God upon your foreheads? Are you agitated with what's going on in our current time? Or do you fit right in and you go right with the flow and everything is just normal to you? Now, we're not living in normal times. Things have been turned upside down. There's no going along with the program so everything can be nice and peaceful. Because when they say peace and safety, the Bible says, then sudden destruction. Then sudden destruction. Amen.